Question four. So it says small angle approximation. So before I do anything at all, let's just make a note. So anything with sine theta is approximately theta. Anything cos theta is approximately one minus um, a half theta squared. Now, this question will be a lot easier if we just think about how else we can write that part here. So let's just write out what, what we're actually trying to do. We've got so 4 sine theta over 2 plus what's cos squared? Cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. So let's pop that in there. It would just make our life a lot easier here. Right? Because it's a lot easier dealing with sine, isn't it? If we can switch it, let's switch it. Right? So let's have a look and see what this is going to give us here. Right, so this is the same as 4, that's going to be theta over 2, plus 3, and then that's take away 3 theta, that's going to be squared. All right, I've kind of done that in, in, in one step there. Um, so this is 2 theta plus 3. Minus three theta to square. There we are. Um, if I just put it in the same order as what they actually asked me for, right? That's kind of nice. So here we go. And we've worked out what A, B, and C are. Right? It's as simple as that. If you work through with cos squared, putting this in, yes, it is. It's a little bit harder work. All that happened is that you'll end up, to be honest with you, first time I did this, I, I, I just did this. Um, and it was a lot harder. And then I ended up getting a cos, uh, I ended up getting a theta to the power of four in my in my answer. Um, but if you think about it, we're talking about small angle approximations. We're talking about theta being a small number, aren't we? If you've got it to the power of four, it's not really going to count to be anything at all. Um, so we just need to do that, it's much easier.